Welcome, y'all, to a special episode of Healthy Junk Food, where we go to Nashville, home of the famous Nashville hot chicken, and other stuff like music. They're famous for that, too. But we're a food channel. Gosh darn it. We're going to go to not one, not two, but three. Three of the hottest versions of that Nashville hot chicken sh- Whatever that sh- called. And we're going to do all this in one day. I'm crazy. This is stupid. But hopefully you have a good time. So make sure you thumbs this video up. Have notifications turned on. Because you're about to see JP sweat a lot. Here we go. All right, guys. Yeah, we are uh, we are prepping for the big day. Let's see what we can find. We got enough stuff? Yes. All right, let's go. What's up, guys? We made it to Nashville Hot Chicken, and we're going to try all the Nashville hot ch- What's up, guys? We made it to Nashville, Tennessee. We're on the hunt to find the best Nashville hot chicken in Nashville, Tennessee. There's a car. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Our first stop is going to be Bolton Spicy Chicken and Fish. It's a low-key spot, a little bit off the beaten path, but we hear they have the hottest chicken in Nashville. Let's find out. Are you sweating already? Uh, yeah. This is going to be a torturous experience for me. Mom, I love you if I don't make it. And Maya, I hate your dog. I'm just kidding. <laughs> restaurant. This is our first hot chicken place. It might be our last hot chicken place too. No, seriously, look at they got bars on the door. Oh look, they were seen on Ugly Delicious. While we were in Nashville, Geico invited us to be host of a dinner party where we cooked three courses in the theme of Mad Lips. Our guests were able to choose the ingredients we had to cook with and it was a lot of fun. You gotta check it out after this video. We'll leave a link in the description, a card, one of those end screen things, and make sure to like the video, subscribe, and tell them Healthy Junk Food sent you. All right, guys, have fun, and remember, anything that you put on that list, you will be eating. Until then, we'll see you. I'm already sweating. Oh, they've got people. Non-spicy, light, mild, mild, medium, hot, extra spicy. Let's get non-spicy. <laughs> Are you already sweating? I'm gonna die. I, I actually think that something bad might happen. All right, so we just got here. We ordered the catfish mild because I want to see how hot the mild is, but we also got the chicken tenders and we got them extra hot, which is the hottest they have here. Now remember, if you're eating things with your hands, don't touch your eyes. It's good, it's good. This is the mild, by the way. The and mild. Check out this extra spicy. Oh my God. Look how, extra spicy? well, see, he sweats. Oh, see, this is, this is what happens. This is why, this is, this is why we're here. <laughs> I can't do it. You just had one bite of that. I know, I can't do it. Yeah, you might need this. JP, you haven't even started yet. I've never felt more uncomfortable in my entire life. So this is the hottest one? Yes, it is. Oh my god. Ah. 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 I mm. You had one bite? Yeah. Ew, this milk's disgusting. Ah. Oh. 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 Oh, f my life. Oh, 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 oh my god. JP, why don't you just like drink the ranch? I, I can't. I, uh. Oh my god, I, I'm starting to feel bad. Are you okay? Oh, oh, this is the highest chicken I've ever eaten in my life. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, are you okay? Uh. Do you need me to do something for you? My tears are burning my face. There's a quick teaser for those guys on Instagram. JP may be dying. Seriously, this is ridiculous. Yeah, just try a little bit. It's probably not even that hot. Oh, what did I get myself into? Are you sure that's mild, not medium? That's mild. If I eat that darn chicken, I am gonna die just like JP. Just do a little bite. Not that little of a bite. It's not bad, Jules. It really isn't. Like, I'm not even in pain anymore. <laughs> I have like a Nashville hot asshole right now. <laughs> this is the hottest place in Nashville? That's vanilla milk. It's so nasty. That is gross. <laughs> If you eat this, you are gonna cry. Oh my god, I look horrible. I know you look horrible. Eating the extra hot, don't do it. It is a 
extra spicy. This is good though. I gotta rate Bolton's as a gotta try it at least once in your life. Where to next? There's actually another place right down the street. We're going to Pepper Fire. How you feeling? I'm fine, you know, now that I've waited. <clears throat> I'm fine. <clears throat> Alright guys, we made it to Pepper Fire Hot Chicken. How is it gonna stack up to Bolton's? We're about to find out. Let's get in there. We made it to Pepper Fire Chicken. A lot of people recommended this place. Already I really like the decor. I mean, it's a lot more modern, which is nice. So we can actually get one tender. And yes, Julie decided to get it extra, extra hot. These will jump on you and won't let go. I think we're gonna be okay, Jules. You think we're gonna survive this one? Oh yeah, that looks good. Round two, spicy chicken. Here we go. Guys, this is the mild Applejack. Little candied apples on top of a deep fried grilled cheese sandwich. This is everything you need. Maybe we should make a, a deep fried grilled cheese on the channel. I think that we should. Spicy? Reminds me of like a French toast. That's good. Grab some hot chicken, get an apple. You gotta do it all at once, guys. Wow. Remember, don't breathe or, or swallow. The apples on there really bring it to the next level. This is awesome. I think this is a very smart and creative take on natural hot chicken. Chicken and French toast. That should be a thing. So, are you ready to eat something spicy? Nope. Is it called Pepper Jack? Pepper Fire? Pepper? What? What's this place called? Pepper Fire Jack? Pepper Jack? What is it? Pepper? And this is the extra, extra hot at, at Pepper the Fire Hot Chicken. Not bad. It's not as bad. You gonna eat more of it? No. Oh, oh, oh. I got a back throat thing. It's bad. But it's not as hot as bone. Oh, I, I like it. I really do. How come you can't stop moving your legs? Is it, is it that hot? Ugh. I'm gonna give this place, this is a five out of five, ma'am. Should I do it? Yeah, it's not like Bolton's. This is more me than the Applejack. I can eat this. I am so good at eating spicy stuff. The best part about Nashville hot chicken is that the grease soaks into the bread. How's that treating you? Goes in, goes right out. Oh no, not yet. Okay, scale of heat, Bolton's a 10, this is a seven. I'd say it's like a five out of 10. Like, really? well, compared to Bolton's, Pepper Fire Nashville hot, what is this place called? Pepper Fire Hot Chicken is definitely the best so far. Where to next, Julia? We're going to Prince's. We're going to Prince's, oh New great. Alright guys, we made it to Prince's Hot Chicken Shack. This place has got a line. Uh, I missed the good old days where we just walked in and ordered, but nope, not gonna happen here. Restaurant just opened, line's moving like crazy right now. It's awesome, look at this place. And you know, I like how they have caution signs up. You know, that's really important. This place is so popular that they say they're closed and people are still coming in. Well, I mean, at least they have a security system. You gotta appreciate how the menu is just stapled onto the wall. And the line is still going, Jules. While we're waiting, make sure to head over to Instagram and give us a follow. Because people on Instagram got to see it first. Yeah, they're so lucky. That's a nice tree. I like that tree. And I really love the little birthday slash Easter themed tablecloth. So many awards. Steve Harvey, Guy Fieri. I love how it comes in a paper bag. So today's Saturday and you can't get chicken wings until after six o'clock. You gotta know which days, you gotta be a pro at Princess because they don't offer everything every day. You don't need flat screens with the menu. All you need, Jules, is Kinko's and some staples. The, the ambiance here is off the hook. Hi, can I get half a chicken breast? Extra, extra, extra hot. Why do you got that bag? This is just in case I get sick. Oh, okay, got it. Wait, actually? We gotta try the not spicy first so we can at least try it and enjoy it. And then we'll do our best to tackle the other thing. This is good. I'm not surprised it's good. We should have just got but mild then. You're gonna like this a lot. Yeah, I can enjoy this. From the other places that we went today, I have to say the milds were good, but this one is a better flavor. Immediately, it's delicious. Mm. Okay, that looks like Satan's blood. This is a heart attack waiting to happen. I actually can't even breathe right now. Oh my goodness. My sweat has become spicy now. That is really scary. Don't touch your eyes. My eyes already hurt, so it doesn't matter. Woo! 
Oh, I got my throat. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 man. Oh, 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 I think I soiled myself. <laughs> oh. 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 That's so attractive. No, it's okay. I'm chicken eating the chicken. That wasn't bad. I can do this. Now eat the bread, the whole thing. Just squeeze the juice into your mouth. It's all in your mind. It's all in your head. See? See? She likes it. I think that you're crazy. This isn't even hot. It's not hot? No, I'm just kidding. This is so hot. This is really, really hot. I'm like shaking. I don't know if it's obvious. If Bolton's a 10 and Pepper Fryer's a 7, I'm going to give this a solid 8.5. Which place did you like the best? Princess. Alright guys, this is how you end your National Hot Chicken adventure with the mint chocolate chip. Guys, comment with other spicy things you want JP to eat in the future. Just kidding. I'd say that out of all the three places that we tried, Princess was definitely the most authentic. The Pepper Place was definitely the tastiest and Bolton's, ooh you evil. And every place after that didn't live up to the heat. So Bolin's, you win for the hottest chicken in Nashville. Make sure to thumbs this video up and subscribe for more amazing quality content. I have never eaten ice cream in the pork before. <laughs> but that's how you know we need this right now because we went to a cupcake place that doesn't have spoons but sells ice cream.